Okay, so I am going to try and give this a whirl. I am using Screen-O-Matic for screen capture, and I am here in the corner of your screen so I can show you quickly how I want you to do an assignment for the Codable Scratch assignment. So really, my plan with this was for you to learn how easy it is to code. I'm not expecting you to have to use coding for your website creation. We don't need to do that necessarily. But I wanted you to know that if you're working with someone who is the IT person or who is building your website, that actually the coding that they do is really not as difficult as one might think. So there's two programs that I looked at. One is Codable, and my nieces have actually used Codable to code and create games. And that was back when they were in like kindergarten through first grade, they did some coding. They are now almost 12, and so they haven't done coding with Codable for a while, but I just really wanted you to see that it was simple. And actually, since they used Codable, it has become a little bit more advanced, and you do get into some JavaScript, or you can get into some JavaScript with Codable. Kids' schools can sign up for Codable, and then the teachers can use it as part of their lesson plans and help their students learn that coding is not all that difficult to get them into some STEM careers, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So that's kind of a brief overview of what Codable is and how it could be used for kids. So what I really wanted you to do is an hour of code by Codable and then print out your certificate at the end. So I clicked on the kids start here and this is what came up next and then I I clicked the purple button here that says play without saving. So I went to codable.com forward slash hour hyphen of hyphen code, but you can also go straight to game.codable.com slash hour hyphen of hyphen code, whichever way it works for you to get in here. So you can do play without saving and then playing at home. Okay, and then you can choose any one of these, whichever one that you think that you can handle, the K-12 to uh, grades 2nd through 5th grade, grades 3rd through 5th grade, or grades 4th through 5th grade. You can do any of these things, and at the end of any of those, you'll do, obviously, an hour of coding, and then you will get a certificate. So if we just make mazes or build fuzzies, we can create games, that's grades 3 through 5, and that, if you look here, features some JavaScript, and grades four through five features JavaScript. The idea is here, again, that people use coding in communication. Am I expecting you to be an advanced coder based on this? No, but I wanted you to know that it is a simple process and that just about anybody can learn coding and learn to do something fairly simple. So if I select the first one, and I, I mean, I could select that my grade is kindergarten and it wouldn't matter. I'm going to select that my grade is second grade and start the creative challenge. It's going to show me what it wants me to do, and I can do that. Blue fuzz get to the end of the maze. Which way does he need to go first? So we want to help Blue Fuzz get to the end of the maze. We're going to put this here. Which way should he go? And we want him to go down after that. Correct. Now which way should he go? Then you want him to go this way. When you think you have the correct code, press the play button to test it. So we can press the play button and test our code. It is a really simplistic game, don't get me wrong, but really that is exactly how difficult coding is. It is not a difficult thing to understand or to accomplish. But I'm not asking for you to become a JavaScript coder. I'm not asking for you to 
become an HTML hypertext markup language expert. I am simply asking you to do coding exercises like the ones that you can find here so that you can see how simple it really is. Now there is another place that you could go. I think for this assignment, since it took me a little while to get you here to this video, then I think for this assignment, really, you should just do Codable. But you can also check out Scratch, and Scratch is a game sort of software thing developed by MIT. And I have my own Scratch that I did earlier this semester. So I signed in here, and then I have my Scratch. And I can go in here and I can update it. Oops, I have to enable Adobe Flash in order for my Scratch to run. But here is my project. And basically what I had to do here is I had to put in when this is clicked, this will happen, this will happen, so on and so forth. It actually, you can do a step-by-step -step process to make this simple. So if I were to click here, I, I can preview it, which obviously I'm not doing right now. Right now I'm in the building phase, but if I wanted to preview it, I could do that. So if I clicked here, it'll say, watch me dance for two seconds, and then had the cat move 15 steps, turn 15 degrees, move another 10 steps, play the drums, turn right, or first time was turn right, second time was turn left, and move 10 steps, point in that direction, play the drums, and then you can also see that I had to, inc I included the bat here, so the bat is flying. It's not my greatest work, let's put it that way, but again, the idea is to show you how simple coding really can be. I personally think Codable is easier than Scratch, but Scratch was probably made for college students and Codable was made for elementary school kids. So take your pick, pick your poison, with whatever you want to say when it comes to coding for computers. But you can definitely get a chance in here and create Scratch, uh, a Scratch document uh, if you are interested. That's definitely a possibility. I am not going to require that you do anything with Scratch. Just go ahead and give it a try, see how things work out. These are called sprites, so you can do new sprites. Here are some directions for motion. There are also directions for look, sound, pen, data, so you can do variables and make a list and all that kind of stuff. There's also events, so when this happens, this is going to happen. There's also controls here, sensing, operations, and then you can make more blocks to have more things happen. There is a way for you to just go step by step through the process. Oops, I don't need to change the language. Sorry about that. Or you can play around on your own. So there's some fe featured projects here, featured studios. You are welcome to look through all of that. I am just going to look for the hour of code completed for Codable. If you'll give me that certificate, that's what I'm looking for. If you have any questions for me, I would greatly appreciate it if you would ask them. And if you need to know anything else about coding or at least the simple basics of coding, again, let me know. I look forward to seeing your completed certificates. Have a great week and a half here, and I will see you again for website creation.